Hey good people, it's Cece Devereaux. If my background looks a bit different, it's because I came home for the holidays. Yes, so I'm at my mommy's house. Shout out to Mama Devereaux. My mama got me on the wall looking cheesy. <laughs> You should definitely do your research, get all of the answers to the questions you may have, figure out the size, the style, all of that good stuff. So you may be wondering why I chose micro locks. After doing all of my research, I could have chosen free form, larger, thick, juicy locks. And with sister locks, I could have went any other route. But there's some specific reasons as to why I chose these locks. Let's get into it. The size. Micro locks are known for their small, their smaller size. They're not as small as sister locks, but they're definitely smaller than most traditional locks. Looking at different lock tubers, lock tubers, yeah, that's people on YouTube with locks, get it? Okay. <laughs> Looking at other lock tubers with locks and seeing how they were able to style them certain ways. Not to say that larger sized locks don't have the versatility as well. I just like all of the options that were presented with the people that had smaller sized micro locks. The weight of micro locks seemed very appealing to me. They seem lighter. I didn't hear anyone that had them complain about the weight of their locks, even if they were six years, five years down the line. I don't want them to get heavy. Like I, I, there's still a chance that they may, but right now they're not. That was one of the reasons why I chose them because they seem, they, they seem like they would be lighter. So before getting locks, I was a bit concerned with my hair looking full. I don't know why I thought my hair wouldn't look full because <laughs> my hair is so thick. I've seen examples of people and I know I shouldn't compare myself, but hey, when I was researching, I was going off of the experiences of others. So I was just really concerned with them looking thin or not having that volume that I'm used to. And I figured the smaller that there would be more of them so it would take up more space on my head. I don't know if that makes sense, but that was my logic. <laughs> and I, I don't know if it would have mattered because my hair is so thick, I think maybe they would still look full even if I had larger locks, but just to be safe, I went ahead with the smaller size. So yeah. Previously, when I had loose hair, I haven't had really good experiences with hairstylists in general. So I was a bit leery. I didn't want someone to use the wrong product on my hair, like wax or, I didn't want any of that. I didn't want them to make my parts a certain way and I'd be stuck with them. I didn't want to have a bad experience starting my locks. So I noticed that so many people that have micro locks started them themselves. So that was very appealing to me that it, the future of my locks was in my hands, that I could do this myself and I didn't have to rely on someone else. And I know there's other locks, other styles of locks where you can start them yourselves, but I was already leaning more towards the smaller size locks. So at that point, being able to start a certain small lock was important to me on my own. Okay, so similar to starting my locks, I was also concerned with how I would maintain them. So I know that by the time I had decided on having small locks, I was stuck in between choosing micro locks and sister locks. And I love the look of sister locks, let me tell you. I think they are absolutely beautiful. So at the time, sister locks was number one on my list. So I was doing a lot of research into getting sister locks. I noticed that one of the main rules, like you, you can't break this rule, is that you have to get them started and you have to have them maintained by a certified sister lock tician. <laughs> I think that's the term. Not all of the experiences from the women that had sister locks was negative. Not even majority of them were negative, but there were a few that had some where the loctician didn't show up or the loctician had them in a not so pleasant place for hours at a time or it just it just did not seem appealing i don't like sitting in a salon 
for hours to get my hair done when it was loose natural I, I used to do my hair then even when it was cut short I would cut it myself and just go to the barber to keep my my edge up in the back nice and neat but other than that I cannot stand sitting in a salon so the idea of having to rely on someone in order to maintain my hair and sit wherever with whoever for however many hours just sounds dreadful to me like there, there's no way I would want to do that every month I'm sorry like as beautiful as those locks are I would rather go get certified <laughs> I really was thinking about getting certified as a sister lock loctician in order to maintain my own hair because I can't do it I cannot sit anywhere for however many hours in order to maintain my hair every single time like, I just can't I can't I can't <laughs> like no no Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> also, the cost. Yo, micro locks have to be like, they're, they're so inexpensive in comparison to the sister lock idea that I had. So, you know, you guys know how expensive that is. I was just like, yo, that sounds like a trip. So, that was another reason why I chose micro locks because of the price. It's cheap as hell. It appealed to the frugal person that is dwelling inside of me. The last reason I would have that I decided definitely that I wanted micro locks was based off of all of the inspiration that I received from Locktubers, from women on Pinterest, from people on Instagram, just seeing how beautiful their micro lock journey was was exactly what I was looking to have. So yeah, seeing how others with micro locks, how their journeys turned out definitely was the icing on the cake, which pushed me towards making the final decision that micro locks were for me. All right guys, so that's the end of this video. That's all I have. That's why I chose the micro locks. So yeah, if you have any questions for me, let me know. Tell me some of the reasons why you're leaning towards one lock type as opposed to the others. And yeah, guys, until next time. Happy holidays, guys. You know what my Christmas gift should be? You should subscribe. That would be the best Christmas gift that you could give. And it's free. All right, guys. See you in the new year. Bye, good people.